everyone. My name is Rianca Ganguly. Um, I'm going to be a senior in high school next year, and today I'm simply here to speak to you all honestly, because I feel that not enough girls my age are being honest. I'm here because I believe that girls my age still need that extra push, that extra encouragement to aim high, dream big, and pursue those daunting career paths, such as those in the sciences. I found that in high school, being popular and being liked all boils down really to being attractive, most often to boys. How you're seen on the outside is how you're deemed worthy by not only boys, but also by girls. Being pretty is how you start to define yourself and how you start to define your own self-worth. Now to show you guys an example of how I myself struggle with that, I have a little story. So it was my best friend's 16th birthday party, um, and it was pajama themed. And both boys and girls were coming, and while most girls showed up to the party looking a little like this, I decided to go off chart a little bit. <laughs> I decided to come in panda onesies and multicolored rain boots. Needless to say, I wasn't the most attractive one <laughs> of the options, but not going to lie, I'm really happy that I wasn't. Because after a long time of defining myself by how boys saw me and how other girls judged me, I learned to want more. I learned to want to be known for what's on the inside, my goals, my dreams, my aspirations, my capabilities. The saddest thing that I see in high school is when I see really intelligent girls dumb themselves down to seem cuter. It's the sad thing to see some girl that really is intelligent and knows what she's talking about pretend like she doesn't, so she isn't termed nerdy or geeky. Another thing that I always see girls my age do, and I am so guilty of doing it all the time, is underestimate ourselves. Girls my age seldom know what we are capable of. But then again, how many of you guys have seen not only girls, but also women underestimate themselves? Oftentimes, after taking a hard math test, I'll ask my best guy friend, how do you think you did? That was so easy, is his response every single time. When you ask me, you know, I don't think I got my derivatives right, and like I'm really freaking out, and I probably got an F, and the tests come back, and we both get the same score. Clearly, our intelligence levels are at the same point, but I ask, why is it that he knows it, and I don't? I have been really lucky in my life to have had really great mentors, so I wanted to create a program where girls my age could get that kind of mentorship. So I helped create the Young Women in Bio High School chapter, where girls my age could actually get mentorship from women in the field. It's an exciting program, something I'm very proud of, and I tried to bring it to my school. But what surprised me was how some of my guy friends reacted to it. A lot of them called me a sexist and a feminist. My question is, how does it make me a sexist to want to encourage girls my age to pursue the sciences? And then again, why is it bad to be a feminist? <laughs> In my, in my biology class, um, at the end of this year, we were doing a presentation on a local biotechnology company. And in my group, I was assigned to look up the CEO and head staff. And it's a small company, so it was hard to find. So exasperated, I go to my partner, like, oh, I just can't find them. He leans over and encouragingly says, don't worry, you'll find him. Him, I said, could be a her. He gives me a look. What? You really think that the CEO is gonna be a woman? Needless to say, that filled me with newfound fire <laughs> to find out who the CEO was. <laughs> but what I found disappointed me. Not even a single person on the entire company's head staff was a woman. And that's just a microcosm for what's really going on. Later on, I saw an article of how many Fortune 500 CEOs were actually women. Does anyone know? 4.2%. That's it. I'm here today because I truly believe that my generation can, sorry, will, be the one to change that, to even out this playing field. I truly believe that it just starts with girls my age realizing that these stereotypes are out there and not succumbing to them, and for others to support us, so that one day I can look at that smirky face on my lab partner and say these two words, suck it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.